Here we see a picture from the University of Vienna, how this horse is actually right now galloping on this treadmill. For security, the rider hangs from the ceiling. And in the front, you can see the fiber optic camera coming down and it's actually injected underneath the saddle in the horse's muscles. Now, after 1,000 tests and images, we've seen what the saddle damaged on the horse's back the most. The most common damage is the saddle sits too close to the withers because the horse is dominant on the left-hand side due to the fact that the uh, digestive tract is on the right side. The left shoulder is more developed. It kicks the saddle and injures and takes the cartilage right off the horse's shoulder. And then the pommel catches on the withers and starts damaging the bone on the left side of the withers. Very common on jumping saddles, actually very often seen, and on dressage saddles. And as you can see here, the saddle sits right on the cartilage. Let me zero that in a little bit for you. And um, we find this very, very often on the left side of the horse's shoulder. The majority of the horses are stronger developed on the left side. Now there's a lot of different theories why that is. And um, the majority and the most logical what makes sense to me is the horse is dominant on the left because the digestive system is on the right side of the horse. So when I have a horse what bows out more 17 hours out of 24 because the horses eat all the time and there's always food movement. What actually happens is look at this upper arm versus this upper arm how the upper arm completely differently changed. Look how this upper arm grew versus right here, this upper arm. You can see that is nature. The horses graze more with the left foot forward, right foot back. If you ask your farrier, they will say the horses have a longer toe on the left and they will have a shorter heel on the right. We know it under the term low heel and high heel syndrome. 